25th. It is opposite day, as I kept saying over and over and over again. It is just one of my favorite holidays, and honestly, I get the dates confused, but you know, it's just opposite day, right? So why don't we just treat it as if it's like December or something? Why don't we just say that like everything that we want to do is the opposite of what we want to do? It's a strange holiday to commit to, but if you have the dedication and commitment, and <laughs> if you're on this time, then um, go nuts. January 26, following up on the opposite day rules. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, that was offensive, because, but it's Australia Day. Uh, good morning, not holiday later. Spouse's Day as well. January 26th. January 27th is Chocolate Cake Day. Do not, I repeat, do not eat too much chocolate cake on January 27th. Even though it's a holiday, just don't. And it's also Punch the Clock Day. It just means work harder, not um, smarter. But uh, I feel like you should just work harder and smarter. Why not just, you know, double combo it? And while you're at it, why not eat chocolate cake? <laughs> January 28th is Data Privacy Day. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Why not every day just do Data Privacy Day? But it just means set up passwords and things on specifically this day. So if you ever just feel a loathing moment coming in, like in February, I have to set up this new account, or I have to do this thing in March. Now just get it all done January 28th. Also, it's fun at work day. So I don't know, bosses, do you really want to give your employees a good day, or do you want to just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You're more on that holiday if you look it up. Uh, National Kazoo Day. Kazoo. I'll find it later. And it's National Seed Swap Day. That one's pretty simple. It's just the last Saturday in January. We're wrapping up the month very smoothly. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's it's B wrap, but bubble wrap appreciation. But it's the last Monday of the month. It's bubble wrap appreciation. I just like, huh? Right? But basically all it is. I know it might seem like I just skipped because January 28th and January 29th are days right behind each other. But last Saturday in July and last Monday of the month, they kind of correspond together. So you can celebrate on January 29th anyways. It's also National Puzzle Day. Mm, get out to your little jigsaw puzzles for we are crafting today. Yeah, I don't know why I did the voice. That was completely unnecessary. But either way, it's also National Corn Chip Day. Yeah, enough said. <laughs> January 30th, National Innate Answering Message Day. Yeah, not a fun holiday, but a holiday nevertheless. And that's January 30th. January 31, 31st, I don't know. It's Backwards Day. <laughs> I'm saying everything backwards on purpose, by the way. I mean, forwards, I mean, back, for. It's also Inspire Your Heart with Art Day. If you ever want to go to an art gallery and you just never had the time or opportunity, why don't you just plan it out from December to January 31st, the very last day of the entire month, never corresponding, never changing. It is Inspire Your Heart with Art. And if you can't exactly go to an art gallery, just look it up online, right? I mean, that's what the internet's for. <laughs> it's time to admit. As you can tell, that was the very last day of this beautiful month we call January. Never ever regret the days that you've been given because honestly, not a lot of people get a lot of chances, but at least you have another day to appreciate. And this time, you know that even next year, if you, you know, miss the holiday and didn't know it, you get a chance to appreciate the fact that, you know, stuff like National Bubble Month exists. Bubble Safety Month. I gotta remember safety. Don't, don't be having some dangerous activities in a bubble, okay? Wait, what? You're gonna have to look up most of this stuff because I really didn't do enough research. And honestly, I'm not trying to mock on my own tone or say that I'm making all of this up right now for a straight 10 minute video because I'm not. I'm reading this from the website. But like, it's just so fun to read these titles. And I wanted to make a video on it because why not, right? Why not just inspire the world with some goofy, wacky, random holiday names? So please, 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 please. Go check out www.holidaywebsitesinsights.com for just all of this random intellectual insights for your holidays because as we know now, every day is a holiday. This has been DJ A. I'm going to let my intro play me out. I hope you enjoyed this random video. <laughs> random video. 
And uh, just so you know, this is coming out pretty much every week if I can make it happen. And I'm going to make it happen. So, I'll see you. Wait, I can't talk to you with the kazoo. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.